one. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. Hey. Hello? Dude, United on fire. United? Rashford is unstoppable. DSTV, Eddie. You don't need that. We're watching football here. This is not the football. Do you know that you have more than 20 live matches on any given week from the best leagues in the world? La Liga, Serie A, the Champions League, the Premier League. Oh, what a foul there! Do you have Premier League? That's one. Premier League. No, we don't have that. Eddie, if you're going to spend your money, spend it on the best football in the world. I'm talking Salah, Kane, Mason, Pogba, Griezmann, CR7. Oh, that's phenomenal! Dynamite! PK Thunderworks! Yeah, told you to get DSTV. Stay connected to DSTV to watch the world's best football. Hello there, Bo. I see you brought some friends with you today. Yes, Mrs. Tree. We're on a treasure hunt. First clue is at the widest route at the tallest tree. And you are clearly the tallest tree. So which one is the widest route? We don't even have to measure it. That one's clearly the widest. Look up and find the longest branch. It will point the way. Then count your steps from 1 through 98. What does that mean, Kibela? That's easy. We have to find the longest branch and go 98 steps to the direction which it points. Finally, we got it. Thank you, Mrs. Tree. Of course, my dear. Happy counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we'll never get there like this. I'm off. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. Hmm. Where was I? 18 or 19? 20, 21, 22, 23, 94, 
Thank goodness we're done. So where do we look? I'm not sure. Steps don't seem to be a good way to measure since all our steps are different. And where's Kiduchu? Oh, you know what? She must have gone further as she was taking bigger steps while she ran. guys let's start looking well we all went different distances because our steps are different lengths but the clue should be somewhere around here we just gotta look one is even shorter. This tail is short. We need to find a way to measure it. Let's use these. Okay, that's a good idea, Koba. But what we can do is use the pea pods to measure each tail's length. One, one two, two, three, three four. A rat's tail is the same as four pea pods. Oh my. This tail is so long. Oh, come on! We don't have time to measure tails with pea pods. This one looks short. I'll give him a try. Hey, Mr. Rat, please give me a clue. You want a clue? I'll give you a clue. Run that way, 700 steps. Then left for 52. Then jump three times and spin around another 16 times. Then walk forward 20 steps. Then sit and use your mind. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Those with the right instructions. He doesn't have the shortest tail. Kidochu! Come back! Don't worry, she'll come back eventually when she's done her errands. Look here. These three rats are the only ones with tails shorter than two pea pods. Okay, rats. Can we please compare our tails? I guess it's you. Rat, Mr. Rat, please give us a clue. Rat, Mr. Rat, we'll follow your directions. Rat, Mr. Rat, please give us a clue. Rat, Mr. Rat, we'll follow your directions. Rat, Mr. Rat, please give us a clue. The next clue you will see from way up in the air. You must go and find a way to get yourself up there. When you're up in the air, at 20 meters high, you'll see an X that marks a spot from way up in the sky. So fly up in the sky, and you'll be sure to find it. So fly up in the sky, and you'll be sure to find it. But we can fly. How are we going to get 20 meters in the air? Look! I heard you guys needed a lift. It looks like I'm just in time. Yes, please. Hop on in. We need to go up 20 meters. Well, we can go up really high, but I've no idea how high. I don't know how many meters this rope is. We're going to need to find something to measure meters. I know who can help. 
Tembo, tiny Tembo. Tembo, tiny Tembo. Kibena, kibena, kibena. Titi, you are the best. You're always here to help. Whenever we call you, you always turn up. You're amazing. Of course I am. That's what friends are for. So what do you need? So, we need to find a way to measure 20 meters of rope so that we can make sure when we go up in the sky, we go exactly 20 meters high. Hmm, let's see. I know that from tail to trunk, I'm exactly 2 meters. So I guess you could use me to measure 2 meters at a time. That's a great idea. So, this is 2 meters. And that's another 2 meters. Now that's 4 meters. Because 2 meters plus 2 meters is 4 meters. So guys, we keep going like this, adding 2 meters each time until we get to 20 meters. How many lengths of an elephant till we get to 20 meters? How many lengths of an elephant till we get to 20 meters? How many lengths of an elephant Till we get to 20 meters. That's the same as nine tiny temples, which is 18 meters. You only need one more. That's, That's 10, 10 tiny, tiny temples. temples. That makes 20 meters. You know that if you take 10 of me, and I'm 2 meters long, then that's the same as saying 10 times 2. And what's 10 times 2? 20! Ah, uh, I get it. So Tiny Tembo is 2 meters long, and you took 10 Tiny Tembo's length. 2 times 10 is 20. Then 10 Tiny Tembo's is the same as 20 meters. Come on kids! Let's go 20 meters up into the sky. We'll have to leave that end of the rope on the ground. Then, once we get to this part, we'll know that we're 20 meters in the air. I'll hold the end of the rope for you. But aren't you coming with us? I like to keep my feet firmly on the ground. Plus, I'm not so sure that a balloon will fly with the weight of an elephant inside. Wait, how many meters do you weigh? <laughs> Get there, eh? Meters measure length or distance. How long or how far. To measure weight, you need kilograms. Oh, well. I guess I need to learn those too. We'll teach you in Gadere, but let's just leave that for another day. Right now, it's time to measure 20 meters up. Okay, all aboard! Whoa! We can see everything from up here. Measurements. Measurements. Measurements of length. Measurements. Measurement of width. Measurements. And measurement of height. Measurements. Measurement measurements. Measurements. Measurements of length. Measurements. Measurement of width. Measurements. And measurement of height. Measurements. There are a lot of measurements I'm talking about here. There are millimeters, centimeters, even meters. There are still some more you will learn later on. Measurements are used to compare and differentiate. Just use them for everything that you'll need. Don't be surprised, they will all work in read. Rats and elephant tails have been used. It doesn't stop there, even pee parts do. Why are you laughing? Please don't laugh. When there's a will, there's a way, I say. Measurement, measurements. Measurements. Measurements of length. Measurements. Measurement of width. Measurements. And measurement of height. Measurements. Measurement, measurements. Measurements. Measurements of length. Measurements. Measurement of width. Measurements. And measurement of height. Measurements. There are a lot of measurements I'm talking about here. I repeat again, there are different types of measurements I'm talking about here. Ruler is used to measure length. I think everybody knows about this. Even your feet, step by step. I repeat to say, step by step. In the village, they measure farms of one acre by 70 feet wide and 70 feet long. They distribute farms, even selling them too. There is no argument when measurements are used. Measurement, measurements. Measurements. Measurements of length. Measurements. Measurement of width. 
and measurement of height. Measurements. Measurement, measurements. Measurements. Measurements of length. Measurements. Measurement of width. Measurements. And measurements of height. Measurements. So this is 20 meters, eh? Yeah! Look! It's Kiduchu! And look over that way! There's an X! It's like what's the rat said! You'll see an X! <laughs> <laughs> Can you land us over there? I don't know. That looks dangerous. There are too many trees. But I can take you down by Kiduchu over there. It'll be too hard to find it through all those trees. From here, we have the best view. We can stay up here to keep it in sight. Then, instruct Kiduchu where to go. Yeah. Kiduchu! 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 <laughs> Kiduchu, we found the spot, but we can't land there. Wait, we'll give you directions, and you have to follow them. Then, you get to the treasure. Okay, Kiduchu, turn to right and walk along the river. Now cross the bridge. Walk straight into the forest. so we could look together. Being first isn't actually very fun if you're all by yourself. Let's find the treasure together. Hmm, well the rat said X marks the spot. So, the treasure might be under the X. Guys, it may be gold coins. Or candy. Or football boots. What? What kind of treasure is that? <laughs> it's one of the most valuable treasures of all. It's the treasure of measure. 
What now? I have been watching you kids. It was a hard work, wasn't it? Trying to measure out distance in steps, measuring out rat tails in peapods, and even measuring out rope in tiny temples. <laughs> that was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we've created standard ways to measure things. It's not just any stick, it's a meter stick. No matter where you are or who you are, a meter doesn't change. It's this long. Okay. And that's important because it allows us to talk about length and distance in the same way. Imagine if you were building a house for Uncle T. You know that the roof should be very, very high. But how high? If you measure Uncle T in meters, then you could make sure the roof is taller than Uncle T. It has to be higher than five meters. So, if you have a meter stick, you can measure meters. And you know how tall the roof needs to be so that it is taller than Uncle T, even if Uncle T isn't there. Yeah, and that way you wouldn't have to use an elephant to measure. <laughs> Oi, did someone say Uncle T? <laughs> Meant to acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. With the length solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat ugali, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance. This is when you drive your car, so you will know if you have gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length, and depth, and represent with X, Y, and Z. Math is useful for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Mathematics, mathematics, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Dat is 